Hey, Ultra Sabers and Saber Forum, this is Bane Trex with my review video of the Prophecy V3. So here we are, Prophecy V3. It's 12 inches long from the point of the emitter, slanted emitter, to the end of the pommel. And this is a Arbiter pommel, not the standard Prophecy pommel. And after some research on the Sabre, I decided to get the Arbiter Pommel because um, the uh, stock Prophecy Pommel just ended a little too abruptly for the Sabre. Made it seem a little bit less elegant, cool looking. So I got this one instead. Here's the bottom. Vents for the sound to come out. And yeah, adds about an inch to the Sabre link, so... Adds a little bit more room to hold on to. It's pretty neat. Uh, the pommel, the additional pommel, uh, cost $25. So, not too bad. I was within my budget, about. Um, next, show you the CoverTech wheel. All prophecies come standard with the CoverTech wheel, which is nice because uh, otherwise it's a $14 additional charge. And this saber in particular has a choke point at the top of the saber and in the middle, which is good for single-handed wielding as well as two-handed. Um, one of the major things that I didn't know about um, or didn't read into well enough was the placement of the CoverTech wheel. And uh, if you can tell, it's set up to be left-handed and I'm right-handed, so... Uh, didn't ask for it to be on this side, but it was just randomly placed on that side. So it is a little bit in the way of my left hand when I'm holding it, but uh, easily adjustable because I have that extra inch on the bottom. I can put underneath of it or just wield it single-handedly. So that's that component. Uh, the Sabre in all cost me around $260. Uh, it is equipped with the Obsidian Light soundboard. Uh, it is fire orange. I opted for the uh, illuminated AV switch, which was an additional $15. I have inside the standard blade plug, if you can see that in there. Uh, that was a $6 charge versus the $9 for the other fancy ones. I figured this one is just as cool for the saber. Uh, all prophecies have two holes right here. This one lets light through. This one does not. That's because the LED component is about right in the middle of both of these dots. So the light shines through this one, not that one. Fine by me. Little brass knobs here go over the retention screws. A lot of misconception there that some people think they are the retention screw. They just go over like so. You can just unscrew them by hand, come off pretty easily. There's the retention screw. I don't have it tightened down right now, but just use this little hex key Allen wrench. Um, it's a dollar. I decided to get one because I wasn't sure if I had the right size in my garage. So just place it right in there, give it a little twist like so, but I already said mine's not tightened down so I can easily access it. There's this guy, comes off pretty easy. Just unscrew that and pop the blade plug out. Pretty thick piece of plastic like that with a little metal circle there to block the light for obvious reasons because it's very bright. Um, all right, we'll turn it on. Oh, here you can see the uh, single LED as opposed to the tri -Cree three LEDs. Um, this one is extremely bright, just the singular LED. Um, the tri -Cree, in my opinion, would be almost like looking into the sun. So this one, this one does well. This one's good enough. So, all right, let's turn it on. Pretty loud. The uh, ignition noise is pretty darn loud. There's the illuminated AV switch. Small little hole that emits the light. 
and then as you can see here the slanted emitter that shows the very bright orange there it is on the ground very bright without the blade plug with the blade plug a lot dimmer hum sound motion and that's the clash and then lock up as well as power down so there's that and now for the electrical components pommel unscrews very easily it's two pieces in all pommel and the saber the emitter does not come off like some other ultra sabers this is all one piece here with the pommel added on it does rattle a little bit that's the LED in there it's not sealed tight but when you put the blade in and you screw in the uh, retention screws no rattle sound happens so it's only when you take the blade out so here's the battery pack uh, powered by four AAA batteries there's the obsidian light soundboard and the speaker on the bottom that's just housed sitting in here fairly loosely but it doesn't move around and then just thread that guy back in and that's where it stays <clears throat> I was originally going to order the dark or the uh, the Dominix LEV4 stunt saber um, but after watching some videos and doing some more research I figured out that uh, getting this hilt uh, and adding sound didn't really cost a whole lot more um, of course that's relative to what I think is a whole lot more but um, yeah after doing some extensive research uh, this hilt didn't cost me a whole lot more than that I mean I did have to pay a little bit extra but I got more of what I really wanted as opposed to what I kind of wanted because it was pretty cool so yeah there's that uh, now we'll put in the uh, blade and show you this is a standard length mid-grade blade very fancy I uh, opted for the mid-grade because the uh, ultra edge has that cream film on the inside uh, just doesn't look very cool to me I thought this one looked better kind of shiny like the hilt so I went with mid-grade um, yeah uh, rounded tip on the end only complaint is that you can clearly see its two pieces here very clearly um, and it does affect the light a little bit but only when you're up very close I think the camera was about two inches from the blade and that's how you can tell other than that great blade great choice also here on this end I uh, tighten the screws maybe a little bit too tight and there's some just a little bit of an indent going into the blade uh, no hole yet but yeah don't tighten your blade too tight so now I'll put this guy in and show you it all lit up all right, I'm not gonna screw it in but I'll just hold it in place and now let's turn it on so there's that pretty nice lit all the way through uh, I have the light on in the room now and the window open so I have natural light and artificial light and it's still pretty bright I mean there it is against the carpet it's it a little dark on the top but that's because it's pretty light in this room right now and as you can see this point where the tip meets the blade is a little bit different colored because it's two pieces let me just turn this off and we'll turn off the lights real quick and show you All right now it's pitch black in here turn this puppy on and there it is I mean very bright no dark spots that's just a little smudge that I can wipe off there we go very bright there's the little light emitter again AV switch I didn't opt for the flash on clash just because it was an additional $35 charge 
other than that, everything else was exactly how I wanted it and for the price that I was willing to pay. Uh, oh, let's see, I got the CoverTech clip because the blade came standard with the CoverTech wheel. CoverTech clip is very easy to use. It slides right in like so. This part clips to your belt or whatever you want to clip it to. It's in there pretty sturdy. Won't come out. Press on these two buttons. Slides out very nicely. So there's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Tell me if I left anything out. Thanks for watching.